Hey what's up guys Tanmay here for Simple Snippets and it's aptitude time. So in this video tutorial we are going to be looking how to calculate the time when the angle between the hour and minute hand of a clock is given. Now we already have solved one type of clock problem wherein we've been given the time and we had to calculate the angle. Now this is exactly the opposite but the formula is going to be the same and we're going to be calculating the time when the angle is given. So with that being said let's get started. Okay, so as you can see on the screen, we have the formula, you can see formula is equal to theta which is the angle here is equal to mod of 11 by 2 minutes minus 30 into hours. Now this mod sign is just to eliminate any negative values because we are not going to have negative angles. So let's start with the first question you can see on the screen, we have at what time between 4 and 5 o'clock will the hand of a watch point in opposite directions. Okay, so by reading this question, we understand that the time is going to be between 4 and 5. So the hours is always going to be 4 and then we have to find some minutes. So here you can see that hours is going to be 4 because the time is going to be between 4 and 5. We already know that the hours hand or the hours are going to be 4 past something. So you can see that we have 4 different options 45 minutes past 4, 40 minutes past 4, then 50, 4 by 11 minutes past 4 and another mixed fraction. So we got to know what the hours are going to be. So if you see the formula we need 3 different variables. We need the theta value, we need the minute and hours. So out of the 3 in order to calculate the third one we need 2 values. Now in this case we want to calculate time. So we need to calculate hours and minutes. So we already have hours. So you can see that we have hours and let's see what the angle is being given here. It's not directly given to us but they've told us that at what time between 4 and 5 will the hands of the watch point in opposite directions. Opposite directions would be 180 degree because it would look something like this. So this is 180 degree. So now we have the theta as well which is going to be 180 degree. Now we simply need to find out the minutes. Now out of the three variables we have two variables now we can easily calculate the third one. So let's try to calculate it. So we'll say theta is equal to mod of 11 by 2 minutes minus 30 of hours. Now we know theta is 180. We still need to find out the minutes. So we have 11 by 2 minutes minus 30 into hours. The hours is 40. So we have sorry the hours is going to be 4. So we have 30 into 4. So 180 is equal to 11 by 2 minutes minus 120. So continuing this over here we have 180 plus 120 is equal to 11 by 2 minutes. So we have 300 is equal to 11 by 2 minutes. So minutes is equal to 300 into 2 upon 11 which is 600 divided by 11 and if you convert this into a mixed fraction this would finally give you the answer of 54 6 by 11. So this is going to be your final answer. So the option D is the correct answer because we already know it is past 4 am or pm but the minutes that we just got are 54 6 by 11. So the answer is 54 6 by 11 minutes past 4. So now that you know how to calculate such kind of problems let's see another example. Okay so the second question is at what time between 7 and 8 o'clock will the hand of a clock be in the same state line but not together. Now this is again another variation of question 1. So we already know the time is going to be 7 past something. So we know the hours is going to be 7. We don't know the minutes but the angle they've given us indirectly. They're saying it that the hands of the clock be in the same straight line. So on a clock they are on the same straight line but they are not together which means they are in opposite direction. So again the angle is going to be 180 degree. So again the same formula applies. So we will say theta is equal to 11 by 2 minutes minus 30 hours which is going to be 180 since 180 is the angle between the hours and minutes and 11 by 2 minutes minus 30 into the hours is going to be 7. So 180 is equal to 11 by 2 minutes minus 210. 180 plus 210 is equal to 11 by 2 minutes. So ultimately minutes is equal to 2 into 390 divided by 11. So if you further solve this you will ultimately get the answer of 5 5 by 11 which is option D. So this is the minutes. So the final answer would be 5 by 15 past 7 because you already know the hours is 7. Okay so now that you have got a hang of these kind of problems let's solve one last problem which is based on the similar formula. Okay so we have question number 3 and here's the question at what time between 5 30 and 6 will the hands of a clock be at right angles. So the question states we know the time is going to be between 5 30 and 6. So the hours or the hours and or the hours that have passed is 5 and we still have to find out the minutes which is question mark and angle is clearly stated that it is a right angle. So they want to find out the time between 530 and 6 when the angle is going to be a right angle that is 90 degree. So again substituting all these values in our formula will easily calculate the final answer. So theta is equal to 11 by 2 minutes minus 30 hours. So let's substitute all these values that we have. So theta is 90. We don't know the minutes so 11 by 2 minutes 
we will keep as it is and we have hours as 5 so 90 is equal to 11 by 2 minutes minus 30 into 5 is 150 so finally 11 by 2 minutes is equal to 90 plus 150 so minutes is equal to 240 into 2 divided by 11 and after solving this ultimately we will be getting 43 7 by 11 as the final answer so these are the minutes so the final answer would be 43 7 by 11 minutes past 5 so option b is the answer so that's it for this video guys i hope you understood how to calculate time when angle is given usually the angle is not directly given but somehow in the question you can find out indirectly what the angle is and then you simply apply the formula now there is a different way to calculate time as well as angle when either of the two is given but that is a long process and instead of that you can directly apply this formula so make a note of this formula and i'm sure this will help you so that's it for this video guys i hope you understood the three different problems that we solved and how to calculate time when angle is given if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel peace